Fountain Center has a history of like, uh, working in the summer uh, through youth like, to paint community murals to beautify the community since the uh, year 2002. So this year when we heard about uh, the uh, Urban Canvas Project, which is a joint initiative with uh, Amnesty International, we are got very excited. It's because uh, that's something we really want to do, you know, to have a mural that uh, relates, can relate to the community and hope that, you know, uh, full the, the mural, there's a message there about human rights and can uh, uh, let people think about it afterwards, uh, what they can do to, say, create change, to make change happen in the world. I got into painting when I was about in the, f in the fifth grade, and uh, the reason why I got into painting is because uh, I'd actually, I'd actually gone to, uh, I'd actually gone to a couple art classes with my mom, and I had to sit in with her because we couldn't find a babysitter, and that's how I got into painting. started looking at images that appeal to us and we really wanted to represent in the, in the, on our mural uh, different cultures and backgrounds to make it look universal. So once we got the images ready and we did our sketches and we did our layouts and everything like that, then we just put it on the wall and started painting. So I'm really excited. Art is my passion and it's also an easy it's passion as well. So we're really excited to be a part of this project. As a group, we were given Article 25 and we reflected on that. And what we were thinking was that for the most part, we we're given almost all the rights here in North America that we that we researched in all of the articles. And that's not the case for the like in most in most countries you know, outside. And I think we tend to not think about that very much, and I think we need to. One of the main things which attracted me to this project is, I mean, I'm going in to study uh, peace and conflict studies and humanities a youth team, and um, what I hope to do with those studies is exactly what we're doing now, is kind of help um, people in developing worlds through art therapy and through music, and kind of giving them that outlet to let them heal through whatever they've been through and so it just kind of tied in well and it makes sense to me. I hope uh, what we're able to achieve here is not just, you know, a beautiful image on the wall but something that people can really just take in and look at and really want to make a change within themselves. You know, really want to do something for community because I think that's really important. And in doing this image, I made sure when t talking with these youth, I'm like, let's really do something that people can look at and just be like, wow, you know, I understand what's going on here. How can I make a difference? What I really enjoyed about working on this project was, I mean, I've always thought that we all share kind of a global responsibility, and that's to if we see a diff if we see a problem in the world, not to like uh, add to the problem with our indifference or our silence and to kind of do whatever we can, whatever is in our power, whatever, is, whatever resources we have and use that for the greater good and to not have this mentality that like I am one person, it's like me and, and, and that I can't do anything and rather have the mentality that like I is one people. I hope that people will really take a look at this painting and really would want to do something within their own communities. I hope it really inspires people to want to create something or do something uplifting for their communities all over the world, you know? So, and I hope I get this opportunity to do something like this all over the world because I think art definitely makes a change around the world.